Flash und Buchhandel. Welcome to the Victorian platforms at Glasgow Central. They closed in 1963 with the beaching cuts and they've only been empty ever since. So this is us walking along the Victorian platform towards the live line and this will uh, all be cleared, all the stuff that's lying about. Just down to the left there there's some uh, water ingress but we're on top of that, we've now got the source of that. So that's going to be resolved very, very quickly. And all of this debris that's been really just dumped here over the years because this was never a used piece of the station. All of this will go. All the broken copings will all be replaced. And this will be really a, a very, very usable space. And the potential in the years to come for the development of the Victorian platform will be quite incredible. Glasgow Central's high-level station was opened by the Caledonian Railway Company in 1879. Its low-level station then opened in 1896, so the grandly titled Glasgow Central Railway Company could run right under the city. Now, passenger demand quickly grew, and eventually the low-level and high-level stations were actually connected together. So if you go now on one of the fantastic Glasgow Central tours, you can view the old abandoned Victorian platform which sits below today's station. This platform was actually built for those suburban railway routes that ran from the west end of the city to the east end and incorporated that famous station, the Glasgow Botanical Gardens. Now, the team down there has created a special viewing point set up on that tour to allow you to see the platform from a really, really special uh, position. You could almost smell and feel the steam and smoke of the engines as they travelled right through the darkness, beneath the city, all through those streets. Now, truly a bit of secret underground in Glasgow. Do visit glasgowcentraltours.co.uk to find out more. And uh, if you are off to the southern city, of course, of Glasgow, do yourself a favour and travel there by train.